Testing. Okay, I keep moving this camera around my house and then sitting back down to film. So, and I just changed the focus setting, so I don't know what this is going to be doing. Hello? We're going to see, so bear with me. Oh, by the time you see this, I will not be pregnant anymore, but I am 39 weeks pregnant right now, and I tried to put like a cute little top on, and like I was going to like fix my hair, and like put like some jewelry on, and some earrings, and then I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I am not comfortable. I don't fit anything. I feel like a giant whale that is extremely boring in the bedroom. <laughs> like I can't reach anything. I can't move. Um, it's, it's not a good look, but we are creating a human life. So yeah. Oh, my mic is like way the fuck over here. Maybe that's a little better. Today I'm going to be, I was going to put makeup on to film a couple other things anyway. So I figured I might as well film it. Um, some of these things are brand new products. Most of them are brand new products that I've never used. Some of them are new products that I have used that I'm really loving. So we're going to kind of go on this journey together and I've got some stuff sitting in front of me. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I'm going to be using the Versed Weekend Glow Daily Brightening Solution. This says to put it on clean, dry skin. My skin is dry, but I have not washed it this morning. I washed it last night, but we're going to use it anyway. I love bottles that you press down like this to get the product out of, like especially for nail stuff. It's very handy. Kind of just smells like alcohol. It doesn't smell like anything. One of my goals this summer is to work on getting rid of all of these spots on my skin. I have like the, and I've got them up here too. I've got like the most sensitive skin. And whenever I get like a pimple or something, it stays there forever. Like these used to be pimples. And I get these like little scars and uneven skin tone that is like, I wish it would just go away. That's what just came off my face from sleeping. So apparently I need to clean my pillowcases again. <laughs> this is like probably something we're not gonna really notice a difference in in a while. It says it's made for dullness, aging skin, and problem skin. And I don't know what it means by problem skin because there are a lot of different problems with skin. So that is very a very wide range. But um, I've enjoyed using the other products. So hopefully that one's awesome too. I'm like running out of breath. It's gonna sound like I ran a marathon this whole video. So sorry, but it just is what it is. <laughs> I got a couple NYX products. NYX has kind of changed up their look and vibe a little bit. It's a little brighter. It's a little funner, funner, more fun. Uh, this is NYX Plump Right Back with Avec Electrolytes Mix. It's plumping serum and a primer in one. It says skin instantly feels and looks plump, use alone or with foundation. So if you're not gonna wear makeup, you could pop this on. It's supposed to give your skin a little plumpness. Personally, if I was not gonna wear makeup, I'd use actual skincare probably and not this, but that's just me. I'm gonna start with my eyes today as I usually do because I, ooh, it smells so good. Oh my goodness, it smells like a spa. I want a candle that smells like that. Wow. So I'm kind of putting this pretty liberally. Maybe I should wipe some of that off. It's, it's a lot. Um, I'm just going to put this on all over and under the eyes. I'm probably going to wipe under the eyes, which is why I do my base usually last. That stuff smells so good. Um, and just be careful though, because when things smell really good, it means there are scented oils in it. So if you have oily skin, I'm not saying that it's going to make your skin oily. I'm just saying that typically, I almost want to say like always when something smells really good, that's why a lot of skincare brands have like unscented things like Dermalogica and stuff, because when you put scent in something, the scent is from oil. So how much they put in, I don't know. Is it gonna make your skin greasy? I don't know. We're gonna find out. So I just bought this shirt and a bunch of other ones. If you watch my vlogs, you might've seen the little Tilly's haul that I did, but I just wanted to say, if you're gonna go shop in brick and mortar, you honestly shouldn't <laughs> because I went online and looked at the Tilly's website and um, like I would say 
three of the things that I purchased were like $10 less expensive on their website and on sale. And they weren't on sale in store, so. And they wonder why brick and mortar is dying. I'm excited to use this today. Like I'm either gonna look like the Tin Man or look amazing. I think I'm gonna look like the Tin Man, but we're gonna find out. Another thing that smells really good, I just popped this open before I sat down, is this new palette by Too Faced, Born This Way Sunset Strip, Stripped, sorry, Sunset Stripped. This is what it looks like on the inside. So many options, I don't know what to do with it because I love everything in here, so I'm not too sure, but it is smelling really good. I have another new NYX product. I have not used a NYX concealer in a very long time. This is the Bear With Me Concealer Serum. And I don't, it says infused with Tremella Mushroom. Interesting. I wanted to look this up on their website because <clears throat> I wanted to see a little bit more information about it. It says, this is a skin intervention. Um, newest addition to the Bear With Me family, under eye dark circles, erased. Acne on the face and neck, covered. Redness on the face and neck, girl, bye. Dry patches on skin, don't know them. Infused with the skin loving ingredients, Tremella Mushroom, Sika, I don't know how to say that, and green tea for up to 24 hour hydration. So um, available in 13 ultra, ultra hydrating shades. So it looks like this could be really good if you have very dry skin. Um, I don't, but let's see how well it covers. Which brings me to the next item that is new that I am loving right now. So a friend of mine was talking to me on Marco the other day and she was like, all right, so I up until this day have been spending $20 per beauty blender and my mind was just blown because I have always, I had always been sent beauty blenders in the mail and I never really knew how expensive they were, which sounds like a total asshole move, but it just is what it is. So um, she was like, I saw these blenders on TikTok and they're $10 for six of them and there's one missing because I'm gonna use it today and used it the other day, but I'll link you guys to these and everything that I talk about in this video in the D box. I'm gonna start calling it that instead of description box. I like it better all the way around. Uh, these were 10 bucks for six of them and they work just as well as a beauty blender. So pretty awesome. This is a little dirty <laughs> from using it the other day, but whatever. I think, I don't even know if this is, I could probably use a little bit lighter of a shade, but they sent me three. So we'll see what we're working with here. Okay, ooh, it's nice and like, thick looking on my hand. So I grabbed a little bit of, oh, let's do up here. So you can see, let me zoom in. I've got a lot of veins and stuff going on in my eyes. So let's see how this covers. Lately, I've also been concealing a little bit of this purple right here with some uh, color corrector but today I'm just gonna go in with this and see. It looks pretty good. I definitely squirt out way too much on my hand though. Not bad. It's like hydrating looking and it almost looks like I don't even have any concealer on. I don't know how it looks on camera, but in person, like I could, I feel like I could wear this out and like, let's try and cover this little red guy that popped out of nowhere and see what happens. Like if I were going out, I feel like I could wear this and I wouldn't really be able to tell that I didn't have any concealer or like that I had concealer on. Oh wow. Okay, so far, pretty into this. This almost feels like one of those products you could use. I mean, obviously there's still a little bit of redness there, but this almost seems like one of those products you could use if you didn't want to like put foundation on, but you just wanted to like conceal redness. Like my chin is pretty red. And if you just wanted to like cover up little areas. Okay, now we're gonna go into the palette. But first I'm gonna take my Jason Wu Ready Set Matte powder 
and just put a little bit of this over the eye area to prevent creasing. I think I'm gonna stick with these guys right here and this guy. So I'm gonna start with this one and then I'm gonna do this one and then this one as it gets closer to the crease and I'm gonna put this one on the lid. For a little bit of eyeliner, I'm gonna use the NYX Epic Smoke Liner. It's an angled liner and blender. So this will be interesting. This blends out really nicely. I did get the entire range of them, I think, and it's a little bit odd of a color range, which is kind of cool, um, but yeah, I feel like some of these are a little odd for like liner colors, like this one. Like what what would you use that for? Maybe if you're just not wearing any other makeup? I don't know. These hairs up here are just doing whatever the hell they want today. I like how this all blended out. It's so weird for me right now because my eyes are kind of puffy and I'm just not used to it. Oh, the gnats. Oh, and my freaking bag is killing me right now. I really should be sitting on the couch with my feet elevated, but here we are. <laughs> Okay, let's use, I wanna use a little bit more of this concealer to see what she can do. So far, I was enjoying it. So, I'm just gonna kinda like, I mean, what I'm gonna use today is, what is it called? It's a skin tint. So, I feel like it'll be good to have like a little bit of extra help in the coverage department and just see how this kinda looks like all on its own because I actually think it looks really good. That guy's coming through a bit, the one that we covered a little bit earlier, but nothing too crazy. I know that people have had issues with Too Faced palettes in the past, like not blending super well and being kind of chalky. So I'm pretty stoked on this. I just had a little bit of an issue right here, but I don't know if that's my own eye or the palette, but the, I think I used one, two, three, four, five. I used five colors and they all blended out really nicely. So for base, I'm gonna be using the Ciate Dewy Skin Glass Glow Skin Tint. I've been using this for about a week now and I'm using it on those days that I don't wanna put a full face of makeup on or I'm going to an event during the day and I don't wanna have such a heavy makeup look on. Um, and I like this because I can actually wear this all by itself and not feel like I need to draw brows on and stuff because some skin tint type stuff is like, it's just like a little bit too much coverage, if that makes sense. And so it makes it look like you need to do other stuff, like put blush on and stuff. So this is one that doesn't do that. This color is 030 and it says tinted balm with vitamin C, dragon fruit and yuzu extract. I don't know if this is the color that I need to be using right now because I haven't been outside in a while and I honestly haven't put makeup on in a little bit, but let's see. So that's the coverage of the tinted, um, what is it? The glass glow skin tint. You can still see skin through, you can still see pores, but it definitely has a good natural look. Now, if you had really dry skin, you may not wanna put powder on it, but mine is looking a little too dewy for my taste, so I am going to powder it again with the Jason Wu setting powder. Let's go back to our Epic Smoke Liner and use this on the lower lash line. I'm gonna use the lighter one that I got and use it on my waterline. Like, you 
could just see the amount of highlight. Let's just, oh my goodness. Alrighty then. We're gonna take that, I think, I'm gonna go here and here. There's a lot on the brush, so I had to tap some of it off. I mean, that is really shiny. That's some serious glow there. So one thing I am liking about that is like, it's not like big chunks of glitter just sitting on top of my skin. It's actually just like really glowy, but I might save this for a look that's like a little like more full coverage, concealer at night, you know, that sort of thing. But it is really pretty. And the pink one has like a, like a, you can't see, it's kind of duochromatic. It's really pretty. For our bronzer today, I'm gonna be using the Lawless Summer Skin uh, in Golden Hour. It's a velvet matte bronzer. For a bit of blush, I'm gonna be using the Ofra Mini Mix Blush Full Palette. And I think I'm gonna use this one and this one. I put on some brows um, and some lashes and now let's do some lip liner. I just bought this lip liner at Ulta the other day. This is LA Girl Lip Liner in Cafe. And I don't, I may try a new lipstick, we'll see. I don't know if I've ever tried an LA Girl lip liner, but I definitely like like the old school <laughs> type, like pencil type, so. I, uh, I'm liking this so far. I'm gonna try putting this on. I was gonna use this as blush and I actually totally forgot about it. This is actually for lips, eyes, and cheeks. This is the Hot Fluff, uh, Hot Fluff New Age Matte Weightless Lippy that can be worn as eyeshadow, blush, and lip color. And this is in the shade Sugar Cookie. So far, it feels like nice and kind of like moisturizing, but still matte, which I like. Um, I thought it was gonna be even more matte, but I think that would look really amazing as a blush. I'm excited to try that out. One other thing I'm gonna do right now, this is not really a new item necessarily, but it's new to me because I've only used it a couple times. So um, this is the Jason Wu Freckled Boy, and this makes the best faux freckles that I've ever seen. Granted, this is the only faux freckle product I've ever tried because I used to hate faux freckles and now I like them, I've come to terms. Uh, but this one works super well. You don't wanna do too many at once because they'll dry. <laughs> I made that mistake the first time I tried this. I think I did like one side and then the other and they were just not moving at all. How cute is that? That works so well. Okay, my back is killing me. I need to go lay on the couch for a little bit, but those are some of the new products that I've received recently. I'm curious if you guys have tried any of these or what is a product that you've tried recently or really want to try? Actually, let me rephrase that. What is a product that you've tried recently that you're really loving that I need to go get? Because I was looking online last night and I like 
discovered like five new beauty brands that I've never even heard of. I didn't know that Halsey even had a makeup company. She does. Um, also, I've never tried Bare Minerals before in my life, which is crazy because back in like middle school, high school, it was all the rave. Everyone was using it. I couldn't afford it. Um, but, uh, I couldn't afford any makeup, <laughs> but I'd love to hear what things I should try or brands, specific products that you guys are absolutely loving right now, um, or products that you really, really want to try. Maybe I will try them and see what we think so that if it sucks, you don't have to spend your money on it. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you later. Bye.